Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Rhyperior Level X Pokemon card tin. This tin opening is part of my 21 tin opening series I'm currently doing on YouTube. You'll find a link to that playlist in the description of this video. This Rhyperior tin I bought for $49.95 off of Amazon. It's actually the first Rhyperior Level X tin I've ever opened on YouTube. I was trying to open all of the tins ever released with this series or getting all the ones that I hadn't before. Four booster packs on the inside of here plus the Rhyperior Level X card and I can show the artwork here before I open up the tin. There's Mewtwo. Now Mewtwo is the one Level X tin that I could not find anywhere to purchase. I tried purchasing two of them on two different websites. Both got back to me a short time later saying that they were both out of stock. So there's a Rhyperior Level X. You can set that aside. And four booster packs on the inside. I believe they're all Diamond and Pearl series. Nope, I think that's actually an EX. Yes, it is. So there's a Legends Awakened, EX Power Keepers, Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders, and a Diamond and Pearl. We'll go to go from least favorite to favorite, like so. Diamond and Pearl first. I've been having pretty good luck with some of these tins that I've been opening. Hopefully my luck will continue in this tin opening. Okay, so first card here is Electabuzz. There's a Weasel. Bidoof. There's Mime Jr. Bonsley. Plus Power. Unknown D. Grottle. Reverse Hollow of a Ghastly, just a common card, and the rare in the pack is a Shiftry Hollow. So a very good start to this tin opening. So one pack down, three to go. I've already pulled a Hollow card. Secret Wonders next. A big fan of how these Hollow cards look. Pulled out a Hollow from Secret Wonders in one of my previous tin openings in this series. So first pack or first card in the pack is a Venonat. There's Shellos, Wessie, Mareep, Carvana, Shuppet. There's a Darkness Energy, followed by Unknown K, Farfetched, Reverse Hollow of, a Blastoise. There's a nice card right there. Rare Reverse Hollow of Blastoise. And the actual rare is a Mothim Non Hollow. But a very good pack right there. So two for two on good packs in this tin. Now we're getting on to my favorite two sets of the few that were in this tin. Legends Awaken. I actually built a whole deck around Armaldo from this set. Okay, so first card here is Ninkata. There is a Cubone. Houndour. Beldum. Gulpin. Dragonair, Lantern, Ninjask, Reverse Hollow of a Deoxys de Defense form. So very nice pull right there. Pulled out a Blastoise in the last pack. Deoxys in this pack. So two for two on rare Reverse Hollows in the last two packs. And the actual rare is a Fortress Non-Hollow. But again, very nice to get two rares in one pack. Now on to my favorite pack from this tin, EX Power Keepers. Mainly my favorite because you can both get Charizard and Gold Stars from this set. Be nice to get a Gold Star. They're extremely hard to get in packs. Okay, so first pack starts off with Aeron. There's a Why Not, Snow Runt, Vulpix, Carvana, Professor Birch, Laron, Reverse Hollow of a Raichu. There's another rare Reverse Hollow. That's why it has the gold lettering as well as the Power Keepers set name right there. And the last card in this tin is, oh, I thought it could have been a Jolteon Gold Star. It is just a Lantern Non-Hollow. But a very good tin overall. Several packs had two rares in them. Did pull one Hollow Foil card, so very good overall. Very happy with my pulls. So, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.